Here we have a four mark grade nine rationalizing question. Have a look and see if you can do it. The question says, show that the square root of 180 minus two root five over five root five minus five can be written in the form a plus root five over b, where a and b are integers. As soon as we see a question like this, guys, where we have the third on the bottom, we're thinking that we're going to have to rationalize. How do we do it? Well, first off, we're going to recognize that we have quite a few root fives in this uh, fraction, and we have this root 180 here. Now, can we simplify this? 180 is actually equal to 36 times by 5. So we can start off by writing the square root of 180. So the square root of 180 as being equal to the square root of 36 times by the square root of 5. The square root of 36 is 6. So we have 6 root 5 here. So on the top, we're going to have 6 root 5 minus 2 root 5. That's going to be 4 root 5. So we're essentially simplifying 4 root 5 over. I'm definitely going to run out of room here. Um, 5 root 5 minus five. Next step, what are we going to do to rationalize the denominator? We're going to multiply the top and the bottom by what we currently have on the bottom, but we're going to reverse this sign here. So instead of having minus five, we're going to have plus five. So we're going to times by five root five plus five. And on the bottom, we're going to have five root five um, plus five. What's that, what that's going to do is it's going to get rid of the third on the bottom. Next step, simplifying. I'm going to do this pretty quickly. Let's have a look. We're going to have four root five times by five root five on the top. That's going to be 20 times by five, which is going to be 100. So we're going to have 100 plus, and then we're going to have four root five times by five. We're going to do the four times of five. We're going to have 20 root five. On the bottom, I'm going to use a little trick to do this quickly. We're going to do five root five times by five root five. That's going to be 25 root 25. The square root of 25 is five. So we're going to have 25 times five, which is 125. And then we're just going to do minus five times by five. That is going to be 25. So we're going to have on the top 100 plus 20 root 5 and on the bottom 125 minus 25. Next step, we can simplify that bottom because I'm running out of space. I'm just going to rub it out and swap it for 100. Next up, final step, what can we do? Well, we need to write this in the form a plus root 5 over b. So we're going to do our 100 divided by our 100 and our 20 root 5 divided by 100 separately. 100 divided by 100 is just 1. So we can write this as 1 plus 20 root 5 divided by 100. Well, we're going to have 20 over 100 root 5, which is 1 over 5 root 5, which is the same thing as root 5 over 5. So I did that one super quickly. If you're a grade nine student, let me know in the comments. Did you get that? Did everything make sense? I know I was pretty quick.